Yo guys, Moroccan Lion is here. We are in the Cairo, in Egypt. This is a beautiful big city and the hometown of SVG Egypt. Fortunately, the main event is cancelled because Camus forced himself to retire. But no problem, we got a super fight right here. Middle line via the famous YouTuber Paradoxis. I'm literally a little bit preparing myself because I'm gonna fucking give everything for that guy, you know? Because he's a big YouTuber and a big fighter. Much respect for Pride to participate in our league. Also, thanks for the fight to join and fight in our league constantly. I want also to thank the production team because these guys here put a lot of work in the league to make it happen. And also, guys, this card is a thin card. That's fucking crazy. It's just a thin card of SVG. That's fucking crazy. I want to say it, guys, you know, again, much fucking, much respect and let's go to the next thing. With us all, you know, enjoy these fights and all alone, bingo. <laughs> Mickey Tyson versus Lil Lion. Two stand-up fighters and they're ready to swing. Yeah, these guys are starting off the show here on the early prelims and it'll be interesting to see how they match up. Both guys, like you said, like to stand up and trade bombs. So I would not be surprised if this does not last long. Let's go. Touch gloves and off they go. Couple hooks Ooh. to the body from the line and he backs away. Crane kick, not there. Looks for another crane kick. Ooh, he eats a cross and then a hook. Oh. An overhand drops him. A hook, a hook. Oh, but, oh. Mickey's pushing oh, him back to the cage. Oh my god! No way! 22 seconds in, the little lion knocks out Mickey Tyson. Wow! That's how you start off a card. Oh my god, how's he? Um, I, I didn't even know what to say. Man, if there is a way to fuck up and lose a fight, Mickey will find it. He looks through the big overhead and just walks into a crane kick. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ, man. Well played by Lil Lion. What talk about a perfect shot. You know, he must have been watching his older brother. I guess I guess being the younger brother of the legendary Moroccan Lion has its benefits because that was clearly one of his favorite techniques. The count he just lined it up and smoked him with it. Yeah, no, he dude. He straight up slumped. <laughs> <laughs> he slumped him. Wow. Well, great job from Lil Lion. That will be that will be a feather in his cap for some time. And Mickey Tyson, I don't know what to say. Oh my goodness. Good job, Lil Lion. Up next, we got Soaking Cheese versus Kimbo. Soaking Cheese. He's very balanced. He's very good on the ground and he's very good on the feet. You ready? I, I like his style. Yeah, Soka Cheese can do a little bit of everything, Hash. Not just that, but he has fought a who's who in the league already. Very experienced, this young man is. And Kimbo, this is his third fight. He's looking for his first win here tonight. He's got those heavy hands. He's going to try to park one on Soka Cheese's chin. Hell yeah. Touch gloves and away they go. Exchange of leg kicks. Hooking across from Soka Cheese. Double jab for Kimbo. Jab hook. Soaking cheese is he's he's coordinating his hair, his his gloves, his, his shorts, they all match. Looks pretty pretty good. Ooh, Kimbo ducking under a hook, fires an elbow, but nothing lands. Ooh, nice jab. Oh shit. That kick can do yeah. some damage if it lands clean. Yeah, you do not want to get hit with those. And there's a nice turn and side kick to the body. And look at that, that's what we're talking nice. about, the balance hashing. He goes with the head kick, he goes to turn the kick to the body, and then boom, mixes it in with a takedown. And now he's starting to ground and pound. Getting some good shots in, too. Kimbo breaks his posture back down into the guard, firing some elbows off his back. Cheese is faking the half guard, posture's up, looking to lane some GMP. Couple shots and breaks his own posture. Very good job by Soaking Cheese on top. You know, Moves to the half guard. Shift. Yeah, for sure. So can Cheese. He will look for a submission, and he's got very good submission defense. Kimbo not exactly known for his groundwork, so I don't think this is he'd much rather be on the feet. He's probably just looking for a get-up hashing. 
Oh yeah, uh, but wiggling his head like that. Because at first he was throwing straights and then was weaving them, but now he's going to get caught with hooks. Cheese was able to get to the half guard temporarily, but pushed back to the guard. Now Kimball just throwing elbows. He's throwing them with the wrong hand, though. That. And look at this. Cheese opts to let him up just to go for another takedown. And Kimball yeah. takes him down. As he follow up, he steps in the feet on hips, looking to move, but nothing there. Soaking Cheese looks for the get up, and he's planted. Back to his feet. Mm. Oh, that hook. Yeah, I was going to say, that head kick landed on the block, but it looked like it did some damage there. Oh, no. So, so can Cheese had a good counter shot there. Oh, Kimball's putting the paws on him, landing some hooks. But he's burning his stamina. Big knee to the body from Kimball. That one hurt for sure. Ooh, two good hooks to the body from Kimbo. Oh, so can Cheese looking to dive on a leg, but nothing there. Kimbo throws the knee, Cheese catches it, cracks him with a hook, throws a cross, and a head kick behind it. That's the second time he's thrown that combo, and both times he's landed. Oh, overhand by Kimbo. Ooh, head kick from so can Cheese just misses. Kimbo lets three wild hooks go. Soaky Cheese parks a hook on Kimbo's chin, but he walks through it. Shoots for the takedown, turns it up, Kimbo rolls out. Very good job by Kimbo at the end of the round. What a great round by these guys. Yeah, no, that was a good way to finish off too, not getting taken down at the end. I'd say Cheese landed a couple of the, like, the best shots. Like, he landed the head kick twice. That landed on the block, but it got through a little bit and hurt Kimbo. And then, as you see there, he landed one clean all the way through. You, know, you got to watch out for those. One clean head kick is all it takes to put the lights out. Oh, yeah. Dude, those, those spin kicks and head kicks, you do, especially if you move into them, it's going to do way more damage, and you don't want to get hit right? by this. Kimbo's got those big hooks, though. He's going to be looking to park one on Cheese's chin here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cheese cranks him with another head kick. Kimbo just walks through it, though. She's looking for the takedown, spins it down, and gets it. Working the body from half guard, postures up. He just kind of stood back and wanted to see what Kimbo was going to do, I think. He fakes the transition to mount, stays, and postures up. Clangs him with a couple shots. He breaks his own posture to maintain his position. Good job. Kimbo pushes him back in the guard, and now he's some elbows. I think Kimbo's going to go for an arm bar. Why not? Would you look at that? Kimbo's got off to a pretty good start. Oh, he, he, he lost it there, but he, Kimbo started off pretty good there. Yeah, he surprised me. I was like, oh, shit, he might have this. Well, looks to get back to half guard, and he does. Cheese working the body on both sides. Fakes the arm triangle. Posture's up, but Kimbo's right. seen it before. Elbow from the bottom. Again, though, he's throwing the elbow with the wrong hand. Now he's using the right hand. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Never hit with the hand on the back of the head. Yeah. Posture up. Oof. And he opts to let him up. I'm gonna, I think we're going to see a head kick coming up here. He, he always goes for that head kick when they're in separate. Nope. <laughs> he gets the take now. Big elbow. Kimbo looks to get that half guard recovered, and he does. He's now working from up top. Kimbo's going to throw in a Kimura attempt. Ooh. My cheese is getting up. Yeah, he's easily going to escape this. Cheese has a good submission defense. He's no rookie on the ground. Big elbow. Another elbow from Kimbo. He's postures up. Kimbo goes, takes his back. This is not where you want to be. Immediately, is he going to attack with the rear naked? No, he's going to go for the arm bar. Oh. Oh. Kimbo's starting off good, but can he stick with it? He looks like he was panicking a little bit. Kimbo just needs to keep the blue over the red just even a little bit. But soaking cheese, I told you, this guy's got good submission defense. Don't be confused, man. He, he, he stays calm down there. 
rolls out. Beautiful job. Into side control for soaking cheese. I love that Kimbo's going for it, though. We never see this aspect of his game. Hell yeah. He's known more as a power puncher. Oh! Cheese dives in his guard and smokes him. Let's Kimbo up and just puts the lights out. Jab, cross, head kick, sleep. Oh my goodness. What a finish by Soaking Cheese. Oh Dude. my goodness. He fucking slumped him. He leaned right into it, Hashi. He's looking like Leon Edwards out there. He just put him to sleep off the head kick. Dude, that was one of the cleanest knockouts we've seen. It, that was absolutely gorgeous. Flawless technique. He, he knew there were a couple seconds left in the round. Like, that was not an accident. That was planned out and executed to perfection. What a great job by this young man. Oh, my goodness. Good job, Soaking Cheese. Yes, very good job for Soaking Cheese. I cannot wait to see his next fight after that one. As for Kimbo, unfortunately, coming up a little short in this one again, but... That's the way it goes here in the SVG League sometimes, Hash. We got tough guys here. It is no wins coming easy. Yeah, no, no one in the, no one in here is easy. No one's an easy win. You gotta fight for it. Oh, next we got Unicorn versus Nassim. I like this matchup. It's a uh, grappler versus a uh, balance fighter. It's pretty nice. Yeah, you know what, Hash? Yeah, I agree with you. Both of these guys are kind of balanced, but they got their strength for sure. You know Unicorn is looking for that takedown, that submission. And you know the scene would prefer to keep it standing. But we'll see how it mixes up when they go. Hell yeah, let's get it. Touch of the gloves and away they go. Unicorn moving forward. Unicorn looks a lot bigger, Hash. Oh, that was a good slip. By that was a very nice slip cross. Clean striking. Oh my goodness. Jab into the takedown, oh, turns nice. it, but Nassim defends it. Very good job. That wasn't a weak takedown either, Hash. That was a good one. He set it Ooh. up. My that goodness. Yo, Nassim is looking sharp right now. Oh. And you know, there it is. Again. You know, it's, it's, it's probably going to happen eventually. I mean, Unicorn is no joke when it comes to taking people down. But you can't sleep on Nassim. If you remember last week, Ashy, Nassim had the performance of a knight in his fight against Jaguar. Oh, yeah, dude. I, oh, that fight was brutal. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. It showed out how good this kid is. So let's see. He's getting another step up tonight in the competition with Unicorn. And he moves into mount nice. on Unicorn. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Blocks. No way. He's looking for a sub. He goes for the armbar. Oh. Unicorn has very good submission defense, so you better be on point if you're trying to get the Unicorn to tap. Oh, yeah. Well, He's pulling the head. Now, Nassim needs to let go here. He needs to hit that cancel if he wants to maintain. Smart. Very good yeah. job. Pushes up. Oh. Ooh, some hooks. Two shots got through there, and then very smart by Nassim. Breaks his own posture to maintain position. Nice. What a sweep by Unicorn. That was clean. Yeah, that was. That was beautiful. Did not see it coming. And that's the thing. This is this is where Unicorn is very strong. If you can get to that half guard especially. You, there it is. This yep. is a deadly position for Unicorn. It's, he, there's a lot of stuff he can do oh. here, like move to mount for one. But you can also ground and pound, and he has a very good yep. knee bar from there too. Oh, he's starting to smash the seam a little bit. Too. Gotta watch that stamina. His unicorn will block. Right. Now watch. He's gonna. I have a feel he's gonna look for a knee bar here for sure. That would be nice to see a knee bar finish. Oh, straight gets through. Oof. He lost all his stamina there. The scene gets up. Very good. Overhand right blocked. Oh. Oof, that big uppercut landed. Looking for a spin kick. Oh, oh Unicorn clanked him with a head kick. Thought he was up on the ground. Ground and pound. Oh, oh Let's go. God. What a knockout by Unicorn. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, Unicorn back my. in the win column. Let's yeah. go. I can't believe that. If you told me before the fight that this fight would be a knockout win by Unicorn by a head kick, I wouldn't Jeez. have believed it. That's, that's his I first knockout. Either. That's his first knockout in 10 fights. He's now won by every way possible. Decision, sub, and knockout. And, man, what a great job. No, man, he leaned right into it, too. Ooh. Oh, that man. was tough. If you remember, Hash, the first exchange, Unicorn was throwing that overhand, and the scene, he, he leaned to the side and threw that counter yep. cross. He might have been looking for that same punch that was money for him earlier in the fight. And, man, Unicorn just clanked him with that fucking Montreal Canadiens head kick. What a beautiful job by Unicorn. You know, that was amazing. Great performance by Unicorn. Glad to see him get a knockout. That was insane. Great job. Cannot wait to see. And that's, you know what? That's four out of five for Unicorn. He's won four out of five fights. So, you know, a little stumble, but right back to it. And to the seam, you know what? You, you fight these, these good fighters like this, sometimes you're going to lose. So there's no shame in that. I'm sure he'll come back stronger. Cannot wait to see that kid fight again because... He looked really good right until he got caught, Ash. He looked really sharp until he leaned into that kick. And that kick would have knocked out damn near half the league. Yeah, no, that, that, that's a death kick. No matter who it is, if they lean into it like that, it's a death kick. Yeah, absolutely. Great fight by both of these guys. This card is man, just outstanding just to start us off, man. Wow. Yeah, no, man, what the fuck? Up next, we got Safe Allah. Versus FX Raw. Number 12 and number 11. They both want that number 10 spot. So let's go. Yeah, both of these guys are definitely going to be pushing hard. Because they're right on the verge of that top 10. So with a win here, one of them is going to be in there for the first time. It should be interesting. You got a guy in, in Safe Law that's known for knocking people out. You got a guy in FX Raw. Oh, no. my goodness. I couldn't even get through the introduction. Safe a lot cheap shot him. What a dirty bastard. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Good takedown defense. Looking for the knee not there. Safe a lot training a lot with Egyptians, so you can you'll see that in the stand up aggression. Well, not even close on that. Not even close. You guys wilding out with some kicks. Oh, then they stand in each other and let the hands go. Flying knee, nothing mm. there. And knee to the body, blocked by Safe Law. One, two, gets through for FX Raw. Ooh. Safe Law sits him down with a turning side kick. Nice. Excellent, excellent power single leg by FX Raw. And he's in the side control. All right. FX Raw already has three subs in the SVG League, so you've got to take your time when he's on the ground with you. He knows what he's doing down there. Half guard looks to step in the side control, not there. Safe Law pushes him back in his guard. Raw postures up, nothing getting through. Nice posture up. A little bit of ground to pound in. Ooh, good nice denial. Color. Posture up. Right there, One, two right. hooks get through. The rest are all blocked. Double step over by FX Raw. Very nice. Oh, right into side control knees. Safe a lot working the body a little bit here. Oh, but look at that. He gets the sweep. Right into rubber guard. Safe Allah looks to escape, but he's blocked. I bet he's going to attack. He has three, four, four of those big elbows, five. And Safe Allah gets back to the guard. That's the problem with fighting FX Raw. Even if you're on top, it's still dangerous. You can still catch it with something. Safe Allah's got a mind of stamina here. Elbow. Big punch. Another big punch. Blocks the door. Ooh. 
Posh was up, starts letting some hooks go. A couple of getting through to the body there. Oh, that's a mode six. That's not too many. Five and six in this. Takes rubber guard to get it. And he gets right back up. Final couple seconds in the round. And that'll be it. Oh, he hits Ooh. him with a cheeky little a cheeky little shot as the bell goes. Still not quite as cheap as when the fight started. You can see a lot with that. <laughs> Throw on a lightning kick. Jeez, you know, he, did, he did not have to do him like that. No, he must be coming from the school of uh, Guy Bully. If I remember right, I think you might have did that once too, Hash. Mm, I might have done that once. Oh, the safe for law stuffs the takedown, blows him a kiss. Oh, Ooh. looking for that jumping switch kick. Oh, catches the kick, looks for a leg kick, nothing there. Good defense so far by both of these guys. Ooh. Nice crowd. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Hit him with the cross and a roundhouse to the body, then stepped off before he could be returned on. Very good. FX Raw looking sharp. He's got he's got safe laws back against the cage. Steps back and drives a knee to his gut. Knee. Ooh. Uppercut hook, not this. Turn the side kick. Oh. <laughs> Big uppercut and the hook lands. Wow. Oh, he ate a good one there. Underneath, what a shot by FX Raw. I love the way that he's. Yeah, the way this kid mixes up his striking and his takedowns, it's just it's a treat to watch. He's inside control. Safe Law gets him back into the half guard. Excellent denial by SX Raw. Just hitting him on both sides of the body. Looks for the step over, denies. Postures up. Clangs him with a couple good hooks. Breaks nice. him down. You will not get away. I'm surprised he didn't attack with an arm triangle there. Yeah, I am fast. too. Ooh. That's just it. There's some ground and pants and yeah. he just got through. Yep, it's beautiful. Looks to take his back. Denied. Recovers full guard. Into the rubber guard. Sure he likes to be. Mm. Knee to the elbow, or head, a couple elbows to the head. Beautiful, safe a lot pops out. Thank FX Raw really gets him right back in it, though. Another elbow. These will add up. Man, you know he just wants to block one of those and go for the sub. Oh, yeah. Look for his trademark, Oma Plata. Oof, the last Ooh. hook gets through there. Ooh! Big kick nice. to the front. Mm. Nice. The balance of FX were all. Steps off. FX. Oh. Beautiful call. Oh, safe law getting a cheeky little knee, and that's for the head <laughs> kick from the last round. S uh, or, excuse me, FX were all looked really sharp in that round, Hashi. Like I said earlier, the way he was mixing up the striking with the takedowns, it's so much harder to stop a takedown when you're comfortable in the striking game and you think you're having a kickboxing match. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> safe a law tries to start the round off with another cheap shot. Yeah, as you were saying, FX really does know how to mix it up. That He's blend. very, very balanced and smooth with it. Love to see that. Safe a law doesn't go. He's coming forward with some shots here in the third. Ooh, Ooh, big flying knee. Hook to the body. He's coming on strong to start it off. I wonder if he feels like he's down. Because he's definitely throwing big fucking shots right now. Oh, yeah. He's getting those combos fucking fly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that. Wouldn't that be something? FX Ross makes it for the, the Imanari role. That would be wild. Mm -hmm. That would be a first here in SVG League history. Gets a single leg, turns it, and he's into the half guard. Safe a law recovers full guard. 
looks to get up. FX Ross says no, sir, and immediately attacks another heel. Doesn't like it, lets it go. Fakes to the half guard, moves to the half guard on the right. Steps over right in the side control. A punch from Seifala, he eats an elbow, becomes the half guard. FX Raw fakes the arm triangle, goes right back into side control. Seifala again gets him back into the half guard. FX Raw postures up, steps right over unblockable into the side control. Again, Seifala right gets him back. Is. FX Raw fakes the arm triangle, look for the sidestep, but this time Seifala got right. it. Looks for the sweep to guard. Oh, FX Raw blocked it. He's attacking with an arm triangle now. This is a very strong choke. Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to get locked up in his arm triangle. Well, remember, the thing about this, too, is, like, arm triangle is, is not a very risky one to go for because you'll maintain position. Oh, wow. What a reversal by Safe Law. What a clean reversal. But he's gassed. He's got to watch out. He's gassed. Good block on the Kimura. He's got to. He's got to do exactly what he's doing. Like, what a great defensive job by Safe Allah. Oh, when he goes and gets up and he gets reversed. Oh no, he's does he know? Oh man, he had a he had a leg lock there. I don't think FX Raw knew that. L two R one into the side and he had a hidden heel hook. That would have been so that would have been insane, insane off the reversal. But he's still in a very dominant position. One minute left. He's gonna attack with the Kimura. He got a good start. Hitting Ooh. the chain. That's big. Hitting the chain is mandatory. He's in a really good position. He's got a big bar. Safe Allah has to be super calm here to get out of this. Oh, this is to the wire, but you know FX Raw. He's staying with him. Ty goes to the runner. He's gonna get him. He did it. He did it. He finished the fight with the last 30 seconds. Wow. You know what? A very impressive uh, on Safe Law when he was in trouble there. He defended a couple good submissions. He blocked submission attempts. I see huge improvement in him. But man, FX Raw can tap anybody. If he gets you in the right spot, he can tap anybody. What a great job. That is his fourth submission in the SVG League, tying me with the all-time most. So that guy right there will not be surprised if he takes the record in the future because, you know, he's just going to crack into the top ten with a win like this. He's just getting started, and he's already got four. So, wow. Hell, yeah. He's, dude, his submissions are strong. Yeah, no, it's impressive. It is, like we said, so balanced. Both of these guys, though, these guys are both, you know, young up-and-coming fighters. They, they're, they've they each had about six, seven fights in the league, so they, they got a lot more fights to go. They got a lot left in the tank, and it'll be interesting. You never know. We might see these guys matching up one day again higher up in the rankings. Hell, yeah, that would be dope. Yeah, well. Excellent, excellent job. Excellent job by both of these guys. Great performance, guys. What what a what a stat card we've had so far, Hash. This whole card has been crazy so far. Up next, we got Wolf versus El Monstro. Number nine versus number thirteen, and El Monstro wants that top ten spot. Yeah, for sure. You know what? Wolf has been in the top ten. He like since this league has started, he's been fighting tough guys. And he's been knocking people out. He loves knocking people out. Monstro's kind of been in the middle of the pack, and this is going to be a huge test for him to see if he can step it up to that next level. Let's see. As usual, you can see Wolf looks a lot bigger than two weeks by every time, man. Those Wolf's on those Egyptian supplements. Yeah, CEO, VPO. Those combos are nice. He's working the body a bit. Yeah, coming, coming up. up. He's in that southpaw stance. He's Ooh. getting that. He's sneaking that straight in when he throws it. You know, Wolf's gonna have a lot of big hooks, especially that slip hook. That's his specialty. There, <laughs> right on cue. He's blocked it right on cue. Ooh. El Monstro staying busy with the hands, a lot of jab cross action, just these quick straight strikes. Lunging, oh. He's going in. Two gets in, through for Wolf. 
Leg kick lands for El Monstro. Looks for the oh. oblique kick, but he eats a backhand hook and then another one. Those shots hurt. Nice. Oh, a big <laughs> slip hook clipped him. Another one looks like it touched him there. Just, just glancing blow. Oh, Wolf walked through an uppercut there to get a hook off on his own. Big nice knees to the body. Nice. And Monstro is doing good with his dis distance management. Well, Monstro is, is no... Ooh, look at the footwork. El Monstro is no rookie. You know, he's, he's been around. This is seventh fight already in, in the SVG League. So. Eight fights. He's, he gets clipped there, though. Ooh. Nice look hook. Yeah. Jumping back kick. Yeah, Wolf starting to catch a bit of a rhythm. Ooh, looks for that one, two, three. Oh! Bottom hook hook. Bottom hook hook again. Wolf is so good when he's got you in trouble. Ooh, he walks into a big kick there. Ooh, a couple good shots to the body by El Monstro. Wolf gets through the lead uppercut. Slip hook lands again. Oh, oh big knee nice to the body. Yeah, big well, backhand. Careful with those, those hooks. If El Monstro keeps throwing that knee. Another right one. If you had to take a shot every time Wolf threw a slip hook, you would be damn it. Ooh, cross gets through. Last him with a hang kick, then a turning side kick. Nothing there. Jump back kick by El Monstro. Oh no! <laughs> wow, he landed both. How did El Monstro eat that right at the end of the round? <laughs> Wolf with a lead roundhouse into a turning back kick right to the face. You, you know El Monstro. He got a plutonium too. Yeah, El Monstro is as tough as they come. I understand that, but oh my goodness. He he is not a man. He is a monster to eat a shot like that. That is unbelievable. Yeah, no, wow. that is a crazy shot to eat. You gotta wonder how much he's still hurt here coming out in round two. Oh, he looks for the takedown. Wolf has that that absolute god tier takedown defense though. Yeah, Wolf's really. takedown really. defense is hard to get through. Yeah. Oh, oh, and he cracks him with an uppercut, putting the pressure on. Yeah, it is. One two. Uppercut, everything lands on the block. Ooh. Little patience, good calf kick by El Monstro. One, two by Wolf, a slip hook. And ooh, Monstro parries and hits a little cross of his own. You can just see there's a difference in the power in the hands, though. Oh, yeah. When Wolf touches him, it hurts. Ooh, nice turning side. Yeah. Great Excellent side, side kick. kick. And it follows up with a leg kick. Oh, no. there it is. The slip hook just sits him down. <clears throat> El Monstro needs to gather his bearings here. Don't walk into another big headshot. See, oh. you, gotta, you gotta take a minute and recover before oh, Wolf's making a mistake. He's disrespecting him. Oh, he eats another slip hook. Wolf's got his back against the cage. Ooh. Oh, Monster looking for that takedown. And there's a. Ooh. That's a feather in his cap to say he took Wolf down. That is a feather in his cap. Not easy. Let's see what he does here. Wolf immediately gets back to the half guard. Oh, Monster's working on the body a little bit. Looks to step over to side control and gets it. Wolf's going to look for the sprawl and he gets it. You gotta nice. defend the up transition because it's so fast, so he goes down right to side control. Now, man, if Wolf postures up, he can unleash some hammers. Yeah, I think I think Wolf wants to do that. He loves doing it. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see him try to posture up or even go to the stack guard position. Moves to the half guard. Postures up. He's gonna let his hands go. Ooh. Cross hook. Oh, oh, these are bombs. Oh. Oh no, it has oh, no. too much. He just absolutely oh. smashed 
El Monstro. Did you see that at the end? Boy, a soda. shit to him while he was out. Wow, Wolfie. What an attack. That was insane roundabout. That is the definition of smash. Oh, yeah, he smashed him. Smash your boy. Oh, my goodness. Just mixing up the crosses and the hooks, it was just too much. You know what? Hey, El Monstro, we know how tough this guy is. And that's that's not easy to do to a guy like that. But Wolf looked fantastic. Every time he was hitting him, it hurt. And then he finally followed him to the ground. And he got him out of there immediately with that smash. What oh, a yeah. finish. And another another knockout for Wolf. That's five now. He's got five knockouts. He's he's trying to he's trying to catch up and be like you, Hashi, with all these knockouts. <laughs> hey, I think I'm gonna keep that knockout record. But well, we Wolf was looking great, but he was throwing a lot of slip hooks, and some of them were in situations where he could have got rocked really bad. Yeah, but you know what? It seemed to have worked for him tonight, right? You can't. I mean, you can't complain when you get a result like that. That was beautiful. He, he he was able to get out of the way, hit him with the hook, and drop him. I mean, go forward, yeah, maybe people could. But when you do something that good, he, he's just, he's the best at it. It's fantastic. Yeah, you can't disagree with that. Up next, we got Hoo Hoo versus Lord Yuri. So two very balanced fighters in... Looking for submission, knockout, decision. They don't really care, but they love their finishes, and let's see if they come to the table with this time. That's for sure. Both of these guys are going to be looking for the finish. They're both high-level guys. Newer to the league, who's got a couple of fights. Lord Yuri's got about five fights. So, But this is going to be a good test for either one. Touch gloves, away they go. And right away, Lord Yuri working on those leg kicks. Oh, man. They're exchanging. Who gets a nice cross through, Ooh. drives, dives on the single leg, and he gets it. Let's see what he can do from here. Remember in his last fight, who 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 was getting beat up a little bit in the first two rounds by a Johnny twenty forty nine, but then as soon as he got to the ground, he found them out and pounded him out. But Lord Yuri is a different kettle of fish. Look at that sweep right to mount himself. Looks for the posture up, denied by Hoo Hoo, recovers the half guard. Posture up. Yep. Looks to lay in a, rain a little smash. Excellent arm trap. Sweep. Yeah, he, he trapped the arm and swept them over to half guard. Fakes the arm triangle. A couple of straights. Fakes the arm triangle. Moves to side control. You gotta be weary of the sprawl here because it'll put his back against the cage. And he goes for it. See who who saw it coming. He stopped it. Looks to move right to the crucifix and he gets it. You gotta be careful here. Big elbow. He moves and he gets back to side straddle. This is a much better position to be in, but you still got to be careful. Looks to get the back side control and is blocked by Hoo Hoo. Three elbows and then he goes for it again and he gets it. Back side control. Hoo Hoo looks to take the back mount. Lord Yuri right. says, No, sir. Lord Yuri looks to get up and he does. Excellent job. He needs to walk to the cage and he gets away. Excellent job. Excellent, excellent. First roll by these guys. Hoo Hoo is pushing Ooh. forward. Oof. He Hoo Hoo puts on a great pace. He does not stop. Oh my. Yeah. Hoo like, Hoo Hoo's pushing the pace and he's looking crisp. Hook blocked by Yuri. Ooh, a knee to the body. Ooh, Oof. Another good knee. And a leg kick on the way out. Lord Yuri's doing a great job of blasting those leg kicks on the way out as Hoo Hoo hits the single, turns it up, and gets into side control. Right to mount nice. for Hoo Hoo. We know he's got a deadly mount. He's postured up. Hook doesn't get through. Excellent weave. Nice. Oh, that one good clean hook got through. Oh, Lord Yuri recovers half guard. Hoo Hoo with a couple of straights. Yuri fighting back from the bottom. Posh, hook to the body gets through. Just these postured up sig strikes will win you around, Hash. If you can posture up. Oh, rolls over to Sprawl. He's got his back against the cage. He fakes the down. Goes up. But Hoo Hoo has seen it all before. Starts working on the ribs. Hoo Hoo. You're right, though. 
those little those little posture up strikes even you don't even have to do them too much if it's on the ground the whole time they will win you around these guys are very well matched as you can tell who who's been able to get it to the ground a few times and land a couple good shots but man both of these guys show on their skill level oh yeah dude they're they're going at it pushing the pace Eve Levine walks to the middle. He checks on both guys, says, are you ready? And away we go. They touch gloves and a leg kick by Lord Yuri. No surprise there. Ooh. Ooh, eats an uppercut with throwing a knee. Lord Yuri's walking forward. Another knee to the There's body. Knee. Leg, leg kick. kick. He really loves those leg kicks. He ain't three in a row there. <clears throat> I guess he figures if Hoo Hoo refuses to block his body, he's just going to hit him there. Yeah. Knee to the body. Another knee to the body and another leg. Nice. Another knee. Oof. Oh, he caught him with just a toe. Hoo hoo blasts a roundhouse kick. Oh, man. Nice knees. <clears throat> that leg is getting raw. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to check it now. But that when you see the check come, that's when that roundhouse comes up over the shoulder. Good switch of stance by Hoo Hoo. Oh, Ooh. he eats a spinning back fist. That did not feel good. Oh, he gets rocked. Hoo Hoo with the lead uppercut. Jab to the body. Jab up top. Nice, okay. Laura Yuri with the clinch. Looks for the judo throw, and he gets it right to side control. Right. Oh. Looks for the step straight arm bar. He does. He's attacking with the arm bar. It's it's a strong position, but it's hard to tap a guy out when he's still got stamina. Kind of close. Eh, it's close, but who who is a step ahead? Yep. Let's go. Loses position. Yuri gets him back into his guard. Who's going to let all that stamina come back before he tries to do anything? Posture's up. One to the ribs. Takes the arm triangle. Steps right into mount. Who is back in mount. Lord Yuri recovers the half guard. Trade the shots here. Thank you. I'm tri trying to sit over. Excellent. Lord Yuri has really good defense from the mount. Nice. Oh. Put that knee bar. <laughs> Had to sink it in just down the round. Oof, that was close. Yeah, did a little bit of damage to that leg. All right, third round about to start. Edwards says, let's get it going. And they touch. Knee to the body by Hoo Hoo. Spinning back fist, not there. Ooh, another knee to the body. You know, Yuri's knees are looking very nice. Yeah, they're sharp. Hoo Hoo's got them hands, though. He's not playing any games when it comes to the hands. Oh, yeah, dude. Hoo Hoo's combos, his hand speed, his power, it's all very good. Yeah, they, both of these guys have all the tools. You can see there is no weak spot. It's every part of MMA, the, the boxing, the kickboxing, the clinch work, the wrestling. Yeah, they have all of it. All very talented fighters. Oof, he just got oh. cracked with a left hook. Who who is putting the pressure Ooh. on. He sits him down with a right hook. Oof, he's swarming Lord Yuri. Yuri getting off the cage. He tries to spin, takes his back, but Yuri comes right back. Steps away. Good clinch defense. Hits him with the knee. Looking for a knee up top. Ooh. 
Man, Lord Yuri is knee happy. He gloves it. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful combo. Kick to oh. the body and excellent takedown. But man, he's got no stamina. Denied. Oh no, he blocks the transition oh. right into an armbar. Who, who is going to have to pull a rabbit out of his hat to get out of this one? Lord Yuri, very smart, staying right in the middle. Yeah, he was putting all his eggs into that slam basket, and this is going to be trouble. Who who is going to have to do something special here to get out of this? Yuri rolls him over. He's taking the lead on the submission. Couple shots to the head on the ground. This is going to be it. He's extending the arm. He's just got to thrust the hips, and there it is. Tapped out. Lord Yuri bouncing back with a big submission win of his own. Arm barring the highly touted prospect who in the third round. In I don't know what the scorecards were gonna say, Hash, but he was definitely losing that third round. He got dropped against the cage and he almost put away, you know, and, and he turned it around and got the arm bar. Yeah, no. I I think the scorecards might have been in leaning towards Hoo Hoo and you know, he did a good job at getting that arm bar. Wow, that was that was so impressive, man. Like I said, both of these guys are at such a high level that any little mistake like that on either side, and it could be it. Who who got rocked to the body? He shot for a takedown. He had low stamina as soon as they hit the ground. You know, he had uh, he he defended the first submission attempt very well, but then when he went to move, Yuri was all over it. He has legit jujitsu attacking off his back. He blocked Hu Hu's transition. Hu Hu had zero stamina left. So that's like a guarantee that you're going to get get the attempt off at least. And he threw up the armbar, and that was a wrap. Excellent, oh, yeah. excellent job by Lord Yuri. Big win for him. And uh, I cannot wait to see who this guy fights next. This guy is a oh. problem. Oh, yeah, I can't wait either. He's, dude, I, I'm, I'm going to be surprised about the next person he fights. He. He's going to murk him. And not just that, though, but, like, hoo-hoo as well. You know, he had a little stumble here, but he was he was winning parts of that fight. He's We we can see how good he is. You know, one little stumble, that don't mean nothing. I'm sure he'll be back and better than ever. Would love to see him come back and, and take another fight on the next card. 100%. Next, we got Panda versus Smook. We got a very patient fighter versus a very aggressive fighter. See how well, this one plays out. That's true, that's true. Panda does kind of like to circle off and fight off the back foot, while Smook is always moving forward looking for that knockout. But these guys are both on a hot streak right now, Panda. Or Hashi, excuse me. Panda's on two wins in a row, both coming by decision, while Smook has just been knocking people out left and right. He's got three knockouts. Oh, yeah. Smook has shown his power. He's been like smoking everyone. Ooh, he hits that backhand hook right off rip. Panda shooting for a takedown. Smook says, no, sir. And two knees to the body and an uppercut on the separation. Roundhouse to the body from Panda. Smook fires back with a rear hook. Already Panda's being a little bit more aggressive. Ooh, another hook lands for Smook. Leg kick from Panda. 
Smook's got him against the cage. You cannot just stand against the cage against Smook. He will tee off on you. Cracked him with a lead hook and then a nice roundhouse kick. Oh, and then a straight right down the pipe. Smook is kind of picking him apart already, Hash. You know, Smook's just beating him up. Oh, he walked into a crane kick there, but Smook showing that plutonium chin. Jab, jab, leg kick from Smook. Ducks underneath the, the clinch and smokes him with an uppercut. Panda smart backing up and regrouping a little bit, working those leg kicks. Ooh, nice, nice kick to the straight by Panda. Ooh, another attempt at the crane kick from the Panda. Ooh, cracked him with a lead hook. Ooh, switch kick lands for Smook. Roundhouse for Panda. Left hook for Smook. These guys are trading. Nothing reckless, though. These guys are both being very technical, picking their shots. Ooh, knee to the body. Another knee to the body, but he needs two hooks upstairs, and he walks into a teeth kick. Panda fires off a jab, another jab, a backhand hook, a lead hook, all landing on Smook. Crane kick oh. drops Smook, and Panda says, fuck you, Pikachu. Leg kick for Panda. You know, I forgot to mention it, but this is a grudge match. They both kind of dislike each other. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I know there was a little talk in the build-up, but nothing out of character here in the SVG league. Oh, a big teep yeah, kick hits Smook they, again. They know how to keep it together. Another roundhouse from Panda. Panda drills him with another roundhouse to the body. Cross, jab, cross, nothing there. Smooth's measuring him with the jab. Green kick falls on the block. Switch kick lands. Roundhouse lands for Smooth. Roundhouse lands for Panda. These guys love roundhouse for the body. Yeah, they're trying to eat the, eat the body up. Calf kick there from Smook. Ooh, and he eats a left hook from in close. Panda doing what he does, backing away after the strike. And Smook is stalking him. Ooh, he misses that head kick by a mile at the end of the first round, but a very good first round here. Yeah, you don't want to miss head kicks like that. Big knockdown for Panda there with the crane kick. Sitting Smook down. But he hops right back up and gets into the action. You know, they both they're both very tough and skilled. So that one rock isn't gonna finish it for him. He still has a lot to do, Panda. Well, starting off on the second round, both guys come forward looking for a glove touch. No sir. Leg kick instead. Ooh, Panda shoots for the takedown. Smook says no sir. Fires off a couple knees, but Panda throwing hands on the exit. Oh, Smook smoked him with a hook there. Panda cracked him with a lead hook. Leg kick from Panda. Ooh, that teeth got through. Oh, my goodness. Panda went for the crane kick. Smook leaned to the side, just a little slip, and smoked him with an elbow. Put him to sleep. That is four knockouts in a row for Wolfpack Smook. Put some respect on this guy's name. He came into this one at 10, Hash. He, he's rising up the ranks after that one. Oh, my goodness. Dude, Smook fucking smashed his face with that elbow. Oh my goodness, that might be the hottest guy in the league right now. Oh my goodness, what a finish by Smook. I'm blown away, Hash. That was, like, I know the guy's got power and we know he's a good striker, but man, what a shot was that. Yeah, no, that was out of nowhere. He fucking weave. Bop. Oh, man. And as for Panda, you know, a minor setback, but that's the way the game goes sometimes. He's He ba he puts a couple of wins together and, you know, falls short in this one, but I'm, I'm sure he'll be back and better than ever, ready to go at it again. Oh, yeah. yeah wow. That's how you kick off the main card, Hash, right there. That's how you kick it off. What a finish that was. Straight up, that was fireworks. 
up next, we got Ali Ferguson versus Egyptian. We got Ali number seven with Grab Wolf. He's kind of balanced. He, he's doing both ends. And then we got Egyptian number five, a striker. Yeah, not just a striker. This guy might have the best kickboxing in the entire league. And definitely the most exciting fighter. Cannot wait for this. Ali oh, Ferguson, yeah. Egyptian. Oof. Yeah, no, Egyptian pushes it. a very, very fast pace. That's a beautiful switch already by Egyptian. That's the thing, though. See, Ali Ferguson, he's got really good submissions. And Egyptian, you know he likes to stay. And he's not a big fan of the ground. So. And we're there already. Wow. Yeah. 20 seconds, or 40 seconds in, Ali's already got him down. Pass it up. Red control. Egyptian rolls the sprawl. He's got a quick up transition. Block. Is he going to go up or down here? Up. Well, Ali was waiting for it. Very good job by Ali Ferguson. Egyptian needs to move to the side and point his back to the cage again. Yep. Ali postures up. Steps over into side control. Egyptian recovers half guard. Posture up for Ali. Shot to the body. Straight. Hook block. Egyptian tacks off the bottom, moves back to guard. Good job by Egyptian to get back to guard. Egyptian needs a special shot. He's letting Ali get that, uh, that meter out. I think he's saving it for a burst, but he should have a stamina advantage. No, Ali with the denial. Good no. job by Ali. He's looking for an armbar. Oh, Egyptian on. has very good submission defense, so you're not just going to get one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, half guard. Oh, got full. Oh, 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 good block. Jason recovers the full guard, but the ha Ali just postures right back up, working the body, working top, breaks his own posture. Excellent control by Ali Ferguson. Oof, good job. Again. Oh, good denial. Oh, looking for that knee bar. Oh. Sees he's not going to get it, immediately lets go and keeps position. Hook to the body, cross upstairs, hook to the body. Oof. Not doing too much damage, but definitely a lot of control here in the first game for Alan Ferguson. Like, clearly, he's the one pushing the pace, controlling the fight. Yeah, you know, he's just keeping him down and going where he wants to. Again, looking for that knee bar. It's going to be hard to hit that in 30 seconds. Yeah, he needs to let go of this. <laughs> he wants to hit him first, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just doing it to keep him from doing stuff. And he gets to side control. That was a dumb, pretty dominant first round on the ground. Very. I mean, again, he didn't he didn't really do a lot of damage. It's not like he cranked him with a bunch of big shots, but he clearly landed more shots and the better shots. And he controlled them the whole time, and he was attacking, so it's clearly a round for, for Ali. I wouldn't call it a 10-8 by any means. No. Oof. No. He actually just crapped him with the right cross. That's the thing, too. Egyptian Ooh. only needs a couple shots. <laughs> Oof. Pushed him halfway across the cage with a push kick. Follows it with the switch. Another switch lands beautifully for Egyptian. Ooh, one, two, three downstairs. Nice. I, th I think he was expecting a shot there. If he had a shot into that, that would have been lights out. Oh, man. See, this is exactly why you want to take down Egyptian, because that stand-up is just... It's just devastating. Yeah, no, it's... It's hard to stand up with Egyptian. Oh, hits him with the spin oh, kick. Almost looked, yeah, it almost looked like you cracked him in the back. Oh, he rocked him. Oh. Ali catches the kick, walks into the cage. Oh, Egyptian cranked him with the head kick. Again to the body. Spinning kick to the body. Oof. Turning side kick. That thing's deadly. 
That's so much damage. Couple good knees here. Yeah, absolutely. Halfway through the second round here, and it's been a, a total different tune than the first round, Ash. Oh, but there, Ali gets that takedown that he's, he desperately needs. That was a nice mix up of uh, shots up top <gasps> and shooting. What a reversal by Egyptian. He moves right to Mount. Look at this. That yeah, Egyptian hey. Jiu Jitsu. And he gets the block. Looks for the posture up. A little GMP, maybe? Some nice. big shots getting through. He needs to watch his stamina, though. He needs to be careful. Because it's just, yeah, from here you can get subbed. You gotta be careful. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you don't wanna get smart, over. very smart. He landed his, a couple shots, I like that, and then got back up. That's That was perfect. Oof. He throws that cross right into that, that front push kick. That little side push kick. Both guys showing some respect here. Oh, oh my God! How did Egyptian eat that? He just got hit with a spin kick with zero stamina. He's still. Oh my goodness! This this guy is so tough. You want to talk about a plutonium chin? Did you see? Did you see the shot that Egyptian just ate? Dude, he ate that like it was breakfast. I can't believe that. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, I don't even, I don't understand. Beautiful reversal at the end of the round. Fortunately, not getting any time to do anything with it, but he showed that he can, he can hang on the ground. He had a couple reversals in that, but he's definitely not where he wants to be. He started off very sharp. He was definitely doing really well, but man, he got rocked and knocked down. I don't know. I don't know I if think, Ali stole that round or not. I think Ali did, to be honest, because... Rocks and drops do so much. I think rocks should be more than knockdowns. Personally, I sometimes you get knocked down just because it, you know, punch just caught you on the spot, but you're right back up. You know, you got your yeah. legs and everything. And you got your oh, that smoke with a spinning back kick there. But you know, sometimes you're okay when you get knocked down, but when you're rocked, you're clearly hurt. Oh man, and look at this! He eats those two elbows. This guy is a super champ. You know that I don't. I really don't understand how he does. Oh my! Look at this. What? Good takedown defense. Very good takedown defense. Knee to the body, throws the switch, but it's caught. But he cranks him. He cranks Ooh. him with the flying knee. Switch to the body. Oh man! But he gets cracked oh. with that knee, that elbow combo, and he gets dropped with a hook into the guard while he's hurt. He keeps a high tight block. And he's able to get back up. Wow, this guy is a is a survivor. You know his his chin is wild. Not just that, but you gotta have good cardio to keep moving after being hurt like that. Too. He, he's just coming back. Switch oh, yeah. kick from the body hurt. Oh, flying knee not there. Ali catches the kick, walks him right to the cage. Looks for the takedown, and he gets it. Pulls the legs out from under him. Postures up, hook lands, takes his own posture. Shot to the gut, another shot to the gut. Egyptian looking for that sweep and he gets it. What a nice. great job by Egyptian. And he blocks the ghetto. Postures up himself and lets Ali up. He says, Get up. Ali wisely is not going to stand up and be right over top of him. <laughs> Egyptian, <laughs> what are we doing here? Egyptian does not approve. Ooh, the leg shaker. <laughs> Egyptian pushes him back and then fires the switch off. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> Oof, he dumps him, dives and die, but no sir, Egyptian catches him with the up kick. Drops him with the switch kick! Oh, oh. oh my goodness! The last 50 seconds, an Egyptian is pouring it on from side control posture. He says, get back up. 
Egyptian switch kick is so good to me. 35 seconds here. Oh my goodness, in this razor close fight. Oh. See if he can get him out of there. Ooh, he gets dropped. Oh, shit. And he somehow he survives. <laughs> right back to his feet. Shit. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a fight that was. These guys just put on an absolute war. They were dropping each other, almost finished each other multiple times. Oh my goodness. You know, this fight was crazy. And they pushed the pace, man. They're pushing it. Holy cow. Man, that switch kick was landing a lot, and it was hurting Ferguson. But then Ferguson would also catch Egyptian with those elbows. Especially that double combo, that uppercut elbow into the spin. And, and he, you know, he was able to get Egyptian down, too, and control him that whole first round. So I, I would be surprised if they don't give this to Tony. But, yeah, they gave it to him. But, it was, but it, man, that was close. That, what a fucking fight that was. You know, that that was amazing. Yeah, no, that was crazy. These guys both were just getting after it. And I cannot wait to see both of these guys back again. We got two certified superstars here. Hell yeah. Up next, we got Loganov versus Hashi Chains. Ooh, I'm excited for this fight. Me too, Mage. Me too. This one is going to be crazy. We got ourselves a rematch. Mm. <laughs> What Logan. Savage was it? I think that was Savage War 6 that these guys fought for the title. Loganov came away with the belt that day. And uh, you know Hashi's going to be looking up to make up for that. Oh, crane kick to the body right off that from Loganov. Body kick. Major, you're notorious for your, from, uh, your predictions here in the booth. What's your prediction for this one? My prediction. Oh, Hashi just cracked him with an axe kick. That was, that was something I was predicting. Wow, that was beautiful, man. You're like Miss Cleo. Ooh, another kick upstairs. The crane kick from Loganov. Big knee to the body from Log. These guys definitely showing respect to each other because they know either guy can end it with a shot. Oh, Loganov with the double pump knee. Oh, two to the body from Hash. Loganov is really putting in work on that body mage. These guys are like polar opposites. Yeah. Loganov, Loganov's a good striker, but his main game is to get to the ground, while Hashi's a great striker, but he also has great takedown defense. It's true. It ain't easy getting Hash to the ground, that's for sure. Oh, big crane kick. Right now, Loganov is sticking up with him on his feet. Well, Loganov definitely, he'll, he believes in his stand-up. Like, we've seen it before. He has a knockout win over Bad Bully, by example, who's fighting for the belt later on tonight. And, you know, like, that gives you confidence in your hands, for sure. Especially, name a guy who was champion who's not confident. Oh, three-piece by Hodgson. Caught him, kept him in. Gets the clinch. Beautiful clinch up. Knee upstairs. Loganov with the cream kick. guy has he's so slick with the combinations it's true it is he's he's nasty man but then again so is logan i don't think there's no there's not a lot of weaknesses here these guys are both so strong oh man look at their stamina already mage and we're not even done round one. Oh, another turning side kick to the body from loganov push kick from loganov Uppercut gets through, hook lands on the block. Oh, that head kick got through the block for Hash each hands. They're burning a lot of stamina, but their shot selections are still good. Yeah, absolutely, man. They're using these high energy strikes, but half of them are getting through for each guy. They're hurting each other for sure. Ooh. Crane kick up. Never seen Loganov use so many crane kicks in a fight before. And yeah, I don't think you've seen a takedown yet. Or not even an attempt, rather. Yeah, not even a feint. Ooh, Hashi stepped into that kick. You gotta mind that. That will suck all the wind out of you. Ooh. Ooh. That, that looked like it was close to a low blow. 
Luganov gets the clinch. Hashi with some spinning elbows to end the round. Elvis what a round great one. round. What a oh, great God. round. Loganov going back to his corner, talking to his coaches. That's the thing. Like Loganov has been champ before, so there's nothing he hasn't seen. He's been involved in five round fights, so you know he's going to come out strong here. Where Hashi, he definitely, he still wants to make up for last time. Loganov seems to have recovered a little more stamina in between rounds than Hash has though. Big uppercut. Oh, the hook gets through. The second uppercut lands on the block. Ooh, he stepped into that cross. Big kick to the body from Hashi's hands. A knee return from Loganov. Side kick from Hash. Another knee from Hash. Ooh. I think Loganov decided he's going to stand with this guy the whole fight. Yeah, it looked. Oh, no. He ducked. Oh, wow. These guys are trading blistering shots. Hashi's ducking under the kick, but couldn't land anything on that big counter opportunity. Loganov drills another roundhouse to Hashi's body, follows it. Yeah. Such good striking shown by Loganov here today. He really can do it all. Ooh, Hashi's broke that block down. Now he's pushing him back. Catches the kick, walking him towards the oh. cage. Let's him go. I like that though, cutting off the cage. Big kick to the body for Hashi. Ooh, left hook lands clean on the chin. Ooh, oh, frame kick rocks Hashi. All these shots are landing on the block. Big knee to the body. Uppercut. That uppercut got through clean. Knee to the body. Oh, that oh. head kick got through. It rocked long. The old big clinch game action. Walks into the cage. Oh, man. I would have loved to see Tashi spin him around and take his back there. Another kick to the body for Hashi's hands. Drills another kick to the body. Man, Hashi's really throwing these flashy techniques. Loganov moving forward, throws the jab out there. The cross falls on the block. Ooh, oh, Loganov cranked oh. him. He smoked him with a head kick. Hashi just another ate it. Knee to the body. Loganov is really picking his shots well. But Hashi just has that plutonium chin. He's not letting up the pressure either. Two hooks to the body fall on the block. Push kick. Ooh, big Push. uppercut lands. Spinning elbow lands on the block. He's been looking for that spinning elbow a lot. Oh! Loganov gets cracked at the. Oh my goodness! With four seconds left in the second, Hashi hands with an absolute blistering combo ending with a lightning kick. Takes the consciousness away from Loganov. Oh my goodness. Man, just not easy to do something like that to the former champ. I'll tell you what. What a feather in his cap for Hashish hands. Oh. Speaking. Yeah, I, I mean, wow, what a performance. You know what? They're so evenly matched, too. Like, both of these guys have now knocked each other out in the second round, too, if I remember correctly. I could be mistaken, but, man, what a great win from Pashish hands here tonight. You got to think there's a big title fight coming up for him soon. I mean, he just beat the number one contender constantly in the top five. Oof. He's definitely going to be watching that championship tonight with a close eye. And as for Loganov, I mean, an absolute warrior. Everybody respects the guy. Former champion. Champion once champion forever. Right? And just an absolute stud of a fighter. You know he'll shake this off and he'll be back. But man, Hashi's hands becoming only the second man to ever defeat the Terminator.
That's impressive. That is impressive. That's very short company. Only our champion has ever done it before, our current champion. And as she joins that short list, Loganov's had 10 fights here in the SVG League. And he wins most of them. Not only does he win most of them, but he wins most by stoppage, Mage. He is an absolute terror. Wow. Up next, we got the Moroccan Lion versus Pryoxis. Dude, this fight, this is a super fight, and it's going to be insane. It's Pry, we all know Pry, and we all know fucking Moroccan Lion as well. Yeah, this one's going to be nuts, Eddie. I can't believe this. You know, like you said, we know Moroccan Lion and how we get down. But now the man, the myth, the UFC 4 legend, Pryoxis, debuting in the SVG ring. Here we go. Let's get it. Ooh, Big hook from the Moroccan line. <clears throat> Pry moving forward, cross to the body, lands a big uppercut. Knee to the body from the Moroccan line. Roundhouse to the body. The crane kick gets through. Cross and a head kick. Out of the way that first took and then got hit with one, two down the pipe from Pry follows up with a lead uppercut. Lots of switch dance and lots of good footwork from Pry. You see, he's got that Dominic Cruz foot oh, yeah. Stops him with a cross. Oh, he eats a head kick. Moroccan Lion with a hook upstairs and a hook downstairs. Cross downstairs, hook upstairs. He's mixing it up. Dude, Lion's just throwing everything out of dude. All the tools, he's using every single one of them. You're going to need all of them to hang in there with Pry. He has seen everything before. It doesn't get higher than this. Oh, big crane kick. Oh, he drops him. And he says, let's go. My goodness. Lead hook, nothing there. Pry smokes him with a lead roundhouse. Body hook, not there. Pry steps in with a jab cross. Body hook. Those shots just dig into the gut. Jab cross not there, but the, up, or the hook to the body is another one. He sways the uppercut and throws another hook to the body. He is body bullying. Oh, cross from Pryoxis, but a hook and a cross from the lion. Oh, just got out of the way of that. That could have been lights out if he went the other way. Another hook to the body. Ooh, lunging hook. Nice Oof. body kick. Oh, the flying lion is coming out. Oh, but he eats a crisp right hand from Pride. Pride does not play that shit. You make a mistake, you will find it and capitalize on it. Pushing him back. Brock and Lion starting to bully him. Pushing him against the cage. Ooh. Pry is right against the cage now, but he circles off. Nice move. Oof. Good roundhouse. Ten seconds left in the first. Lion misses a head kick and gets a hook for his trouble. And a lead round. Oh, a little late crane kick to the stomach. Yeah. Excellent first round by both these guys. Burning a ton of energy. They're both throwing these high risk, high reward techniques. Oh, man. There were some good shots landing there. Rock and Lion really focusing on the body, but he landed this beautiful crane kick up top to drop Pry early in the first round. But like a true veteran, he, he, he got his bearings together and battled back for the rest of the round. A lot of guys don't get up from that, Kitashi. Yeah, no, most don't. Most don't have a chin like that. Touch gloves and away we go. Start off the second round. Let's get it. Oof, big roundhouse to the body. Oh, oh the switch kick lands. Side kick doesn't get through. Roundhouse hits. Hook block. Body hook lands. Lunch, um, put him out. Yeah, oh. definitely. Definitely. He's going balls to the wall. Oh, eats a right hand. Probably circles off, fires a hook, but it lands on the block. 
Ooh, nice. Pry catches the kick, walks him back towards the cage, throws a hook, and leg kick for his troubles. Ooh. Front kick, nothing there. Oh, Fry's looking for a crane kick of his own. Imagine knocking out the Moroccan Lion with a crane kick. He's rocked him with a cross. Ooh, big hook gets through. Oh, he cracks him with the uppercut. How did he eat that? These guys are both hurt. Ooh, Pry sits him down with a lead uppercut. Couple knees to the body, an uppercut. He's got him against the cage. Circles away from the hook. Roundhouse to the body. Crane kick to the body. Hook up top. Line starting to let the hands go. Across and, a, and another roundhouse gets through. You know, Line's really letting it go right now. Oh. Uh oh. Jab gets blocked, but the hook gets through right behind it. Another jab, hook gets through. Nice front kick. Excellent. A little teeth to the stomach. Oh, Push oh, Overhand right lands. Switch kick. Oh, oh he drops him with the crane kick. Yes, yeah, Smarty follows up. He's looking for the finish, but he wraps him up. Bow for the crowd. Man, I wouldn't let him up. <laughs> I wouldn't either. He is too dangerous. Pry is too dangerous. Oh, oh he gets the flying lion. Lion, lion to the face. You don't want that. Ooh, nice hook, to, hook upstairs and to the body. He's blitzing nice him, drops him with a roundhouse. Oh, shit. Cracked him with the head kick. Oh, my God. And Pryoxus gets crumpled. What Jeez, a head was... kick from the Moroccan lion. Oh, my goodness. That was straight through the block. He fucking slumped his ass. What well, the... Well, he was putting a lot of work in there. He was chipping away on that block all night, as well as working at the body. Both these guys were absolutely tasking each other with big shots. You know what? That one just got through. And one is all it takes sometimes. My goodness, what a roundhouse to the head from the rock and lion. That was crazy. And you know, it, it's crazy to see the pace that lion kept that whole time. He was thrown... So many combos after combos, three pieces, four pieces. He was letting them all go. Yeah, no, that was fantastic. That great, great showing by both guys. We already know how good Moroccan Lion is. He's already fought for the title here once. You know, one stumble in his entire career, and now moving to five and one with five knockouts, right? And and I mean, what what do you have to say about Pry? The guy is a UFC four legend, so. Nothing but the maximum respect for Pride. Thanks for coming out and fighting in the league. Man, hope to see both of these guys back. Hell yeah, we appreciate you coming by, Pride.